Good morning, everybody. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And we have another video for you this morning. We're going to turn over to Kathy. I think we're going to pull a few orders, but we're just up here in the office Monday morning. Um, kind of getting things ready to go. <laughs> the the office is in, in a little bit more So that's my big messy task than for the normal. day, but like I feel like I need to get some of these items out of the boxes and stuff also so we can put because this is our other half of the day is putting away stuff that's listed and not put away because we need more space for it so yeah let's pull some stuff out and <laughs> then put some more stuff back in yeah um i did want to thank julie she brought us a copy and said thanks so much for your help via instagram on the question i had on posture so speedy and nice and so thorough and i know how busy you are you're the best thanks so much <laughs> thank you julie um julie thank you so much yeah she just asked me a quick question yesterday about poshmark so like if you've sent somebody an offer mm -hmm. um you can't really send the same offer i think it's like within 90 days maybe 60. i don't know the exact time frame but anyways she was having a buyer that wanted the same offer and she wasn't able to send it and so the way i do it i don't know if this is the best way or the only way um you just have to like change something about the listing i usually just do like size mm -hmm. um edit it to the wrong size for a second and then edit it back to the right size and that should like reset it tell poshmark it's a new listing or something and then you could send the offer so if that's helpful okay. to anybody yeah and that also works if you've sent an offer and you've sold it elsewhere like we cross list so kathy's always sending offers and if, if it sells on eBay, for instance, and we need to delist it from Poshmark, you'll get that error. Like you can't, this has active offers. Yeah. If you change the size, and I don't even think you have to change it back, but if you just change the size, then you could just delete the listing. It'll it'll let you do that. So that's a little Poshmark hack. I didn't, I didn't know it worked that way too, though. So. The way you just said, so yeah. cool. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, it's a little dark. And Kathy went sourcing, a, a, <laughs> I was gonna say a little bit, but it's <laughs> quite a bit of stuff. It was a good, yeah. like I got most of this all in a day, so. Yeah, looks happy. like those boots are the ones we got from that estate yeah. sale, so there might be Quotes some of that. still back there, but other than that, this is all new. Yeah. I think one of the bags may be from a week or so ago, and I just never got to it. But. Yeah. Okay, CS. Well, this could be challenging. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, sold a pair of Dance Go for $42.46 plus shipping. I had $12.99 into those ones. Those are going to ship out in a pattern flat rate. Okay, box S. I never know if this is Jambu or Jambu. <laughs> These came from the bins. I have $1.97 into them, sold them for $21.21 plus shipping. Those sold in just a couple days. So this is a brand I normally pass on at the normal thrift because they usually price it at like 10 bucks. So even still, well, that would still have been a small profit. Maybe I'll, I usually pick them up if they're like in perfect shape and like $7.99 or less, but mm -hmm. I definitely always pick them up at the bins. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. And for how fast they sold. I'm happy about that. Um, those do fit in a padded flat rate, but it was only four cents more to do a box, and I just prefer boxes if I like can. Yeah. This one, they live far away. So like, where did they live? Uh, Maine, and Maine. I think it was gonna be like this is eight twenty, and then I think it was like twelve twenty eight or something. For a shoe to box ship. or something, yeah. Right for the same. So. Yeah, and this was only eight twenty four to ship, I think, to like Texas. Yeah, and we've never really had any complaints for shipping shoes and padded flat rates. No. So I know we've we've had that question in the past, you know, and we do poly mailers too. We try to at least have it have bubble wrap, right? Yeah. If we're doing shoes <laughs> in, in a poly. All right, so these Mephisto shoes. I think these are missing their insoles. At least I said they were. Like it says Mephisto on the foot, but I feel like there should be more padding than there is. So, mm. anyways, I listed them no insoles and they still sold for 35 plus ship. Uh, I paid $7.99 for them, so really good. Those are going in the pad of flat rate. I'm to grab more of, probably. This sold, but I don't know if I have it in my <laughs> hand now or what. So, AI. 
Yeah, we did not record any footage on Saturday. Kathy did mail out a couple things, but... Yeah, nothing. there wasn't too much Saturday morning. A lot came in over the evening, though, and Sunday, so... Pretty happy I'm... I'm back to my at least, like, normal daily goal, which was, like... I can't get distracted. <laughs> like March was pretty slow. Yeah. Um, and the beginning of April was slow. Chris always says it gets better at the second half. Like, <laughs> I'm not quite at the second half. I feel like it's getting better. So. Yeah. Anyways, I'm happy because I'm back to like at least my like minimum kind of wanna be at goal, mm -hmm. and then I can just keep going up from there. Hopefully. Right. Uh, so this person on eBay bought. It's basically the same shirt but one has a hood and one doesn't. He also bought them in two different sizes, so I hope he knows that, but I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm shipping out what he bought, which was, they're just like curly, I don't know, wanna call them a rash guard, but they're like a stretchy, like performance shirt, I guess. Okay. Um, I have seven into one of them, 10 into the other. The buyer paid 46.67 plus shipping, so not bad. Um, 17 into 46, basically. Yeah. Uh, those are going in a pad of flat range, but... Okay. I know we have some Actually, in the closet. have some right here. All right, CZ, this is a viewer sale. Okay, going out to Teresa. She says she's buying these for her goddaughter and she likes to watch our videos. So awesome. thank you so much, Teresa. Um, I got these at the bins. Chris actually cleaned these up really nice. I think you have a photo. If not, I yeah, I might. A photo, so I might have the photo. So I'll show you what they look. So for. yeah, they looked really bad when I grabbed them from the bins, and just a quick like wipe down, mm -hmm. turned them into this. Um, but yeah, Teresa bought them for seventeen with discount shipping. I had a dollar eighty four into them. So thank you so much, Teresa. Teresa, thank you so much for that, and hope your goddaughter loves them. Yeah, no, they're very those. sparkly. <laughs> I don't know if we have any over here for like kids shoes. I usually do like a little. One of the square boxes that I use for mugs, but I don't think we have any right there. So these, I'm glad that I actually, I think I sold quite a few things from the top shelf and Sweet. from that shelf, and maybe from that shelf. So that's making me happy. Um, so these also came from the bins. They are heavy, but since I averaged my cost of goods, I had a dollar eighty-four into them. Sold them for twenty-seven discount shipping on Posh. Very happy they sold on Posh because they're like close to four pounds right mm. now. So once I box them up, they'll be just under the five pound limit. And those which, almost look too big for a 13 by 13 yeah, or nine. They are, huh? So we'll have to find a box in the closet for them, but I don't have to pay any additional right. shipping or like on eBay, the buyer, depending where they live, may have had to pay up to like $18 to get those shipped out. So mm -hmm. yeah. And in case you did not know, you can use your own boxes on priority mail. You don't have to use the free boxes, so. Yeah. These I knew were over there because I just listed them. They are a pair of men's just basic black Crocs. I paid $8.99 for them, sold them for $29 plus shipping on Facebook. Those are going out in a shoe box. All right. Right back to that shoe shelf. <laughs> yeah, I listed... Oh, eight or ten pairs of shoes and a few of them I've already sold. Well, I don't know if they're all in the same pile, so I'll right. just grab one at a time, I guess. Uh, these are Vasque. I don't even know if the video came out when I found these yet. Um, but I found these after we went to an estate sale in the Monument Goodwill for... I did pay $14.99 for them, but they have Vibram soles. They... Uh, oh, they weren't Gore-Tex. I thought they were Gore-Tex. Anyways, they sold in a day, so it was a good pickup, <laughs> but I paid $14.99, I think because they were a size wide, 12 wide. Gotcha, so. yeah. Wide always seems to do better. Um, Quicker, and they yeah. did, yeah. They sold in less than 24 hours for $46.71 plus shipping, so still almost, I think it was like a $28 profit on these, so. Very nice. Very, very nice. Those are going out in a shoebox. And that video should be edited and yeah, put up by today. By the time yeah. this, it'll definitely have camera, Yeah. But. All right. There's a Starbucks mug one. So yeah, this this morning sold. I didn't even have it yet, so I went to get my coffee yeah. and I got one too. <laughs> got my little frou frou <laughs> iced white mocha with whipped cream. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this. What was I gonna say about it? Oh, 
So you know, I normally use my points to get them for free or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't. I had 398 points on my app, so you need 400 to get the cup. <laughs> right. So I was like, is it really worth me just like standing here buying my drink, hoping it updates right away, and then buying it? And then I was like, no, I don't want to <laughs> wait around. And luckily, I didn't because once I got back to the car, it still hadn't updated. So, right. anyways, I just bought it at the price that it costs at Starbucks, which is 12.95. And the buyer had bought it for twenty six thirty one plus shipping. So I'm making about, I think it's like seven dollars and eighty something cents profit, but that covered at least one of our coffees. Mm -hmm. Um, and then tomorrow whenever I go next time I'll have enough to get the another one. But yeah. the guy had bought it before I even had one in stock, but I kind of just know our stores that are close by have enough and I go there every day anyways. So Yeah. I felt good about still listing one without even having it. Be careful if you're going to do that kind of thing. <laughs> this buyer actually, he wants that for his um, wife's Easter basket. Right. And asked if we could ship it out right away, which we can. So we are doing that. But yeah, before I even wrote him back, I like called the Starbucks just to make sure they had it <laughs> before he bought it. So yeah, um, I'm going to keep keeping those in stock as long as yeah. they keep selling. I feel like that's also something that could be easily oversaturated because there, there is quite a bit in our Starbucks. Right, Starbucks's. I can go buy them all, but I'm not going to do that. Right, we don't want to flood the market on ourselves. Yeah. So, and you know, tomorrow somebody could go buy them all and list them and then take a lesser price. Take a lesser price and we're just, you know, we'll just do it onesies, <laughs> twosies at a time. And yeah, especially when I get them free, like even if they sell yeah. for 15, 20 bucks at that point. So yeah, it's just nice, like, oh, eight bucks here, eight bucks there. Yeah. Every time I've listed one, it's sold in under 30 days, so. Yeah. If that tells you anything. It's not going to last forever. No. <laughs> you know, but, you know, we're just playing it like we'll make the eight bucks when we can, so. Yeah. All right. So Use please. that knowledge however you want. <laughs> <laughs> I sold these Nike, these are Nike SBs. I got these in Utah. I don't think I showed them in the haul because I think I got them at the last stop after we had already recorded the haul. But I paid ten dollars for them, and I sold them for thirty-three plus shipping on Mercari. I do need to find a box in the closet for those. We did get our eBay boxes this weekend. So yeah, plenty of boxes for now. Have we made the kids bring them upstairs yet? <laughs> well, it's a ginormous. Box. I know they struggled bringing I don't even it in the think front I door. I bring it up just because it's so like large. <laughs> Might have to open and bring them up a little at a time. So these Sanita, these are kind of cool. They're like tall with the wooden heel, mm -hmm. so. I did pay $12.99 for these, sold them for 43 plus shipping on Mercari. And same deal, I need to find a box for those. All right, box Y, this was a cool little Facebook Marketplace sale that came in this morning. These are the pair of Fly London wedges oh. that I had found in a kid's department at Goodwill, so they only had them priced at $3.99. And I sold them for forty-one sixty-five plus shipping. So very happy with that. This very nice. Just taking up. Oh. I don't know why are you I'm taking the right aisle. Over here. What you doing? <laughs> okay. And AQ. This was another. I don't want to say surprising because it's a item I knew itself, but I guess I didn't think it might sell on Facebook. It's just a pair of Carhartt men's. I'm just trying to make sure these are obviously overalls, but I'll make sure we didn't put two in that box. No. Anyways, Carhartt denim overalls. I did pay $16.99 for these, figuring I could at least double my money. Mm -hmm. I did a little better than that. They sold for $50, 15 cents plus shipping. So All right. probably close to a $30 profit on those since Facebook takes such a low fee. All right. <laughs> Uh, we said we're just gonna fill up this table, but <laughs> you got I a couple like more half of the sale, so yeah, let's try to finish this little yeah. bag. Um, those can get shipped out in a box or just a larger mailer, I'm not sure yet. Okay, DK, <laughs> yeah, how are you gonna get that one? <laughs> I'm just gonna throw <laughs> that over there. Hey, that's expensive. Uh, okay, these are all the same. Anyways, a pair of round tree and York corduroy pants. Someone bought full price on Posh $28. I had $344 into those. And Posh, probably ship those out. 
don't know, they're kind of large. I'll decide in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of like folded weirdly that I'm not sure what would be the A shoebox maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Posh makes it easy. You could use any of the, <laughs> any of the boxes. I gotta go to BY. Right? Your butt's in the way. Going to the boy. Oh, the stretch. <laughs> you want a treat? You Heck yeah, I do. I'll get you one, but I gotta finish <laughs> pulling my orders first. <laughs> uh, this was technically my son's. He never wore them, but they're just like mini Bowden underwear. Mm. Um, whenever mini Bowden sends like the fifteen dollar off coupons, which they do every few months i usually buy like socks or underwear or something mm -hmm. but we started really he doesn't really like these ones so um i just pulled them out of the grow into bin and just sold them so i had paid still out of pocket 21.51 for them uh but i sold them for 33 with discount shipping on posh so i think i'm profiting like two bucks still but, okay yeah you better give reese a snack i want your treat you said can you keep it on your head? <laughs> he can't. Roxy used to be able to do that. Can I put it on your nose? He's like, just give it to me. <laughs> it's gonna bite me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a good boy? <laughs> All right, and that we'll just mm -hmm. ship out probably in a regional A little box. Oh, my my fingers like stuck between this box. Alrighty. My hair. I just feel like I'm all out of sorts this morning. <laughs> My pants keep slipping down. You know, it's, it's it's probably because our office is in a little bit of right. disarray. I feel like that rubs off. Speaking of disarray, this is our viewer sale going out to Viviana, and I think her item is probably in this whole gym bag. Oh, in this right. disarray? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I can find it quickly. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah. So we listed these, I think Thursday night when we were doing our live. Mm. Uh, they're a pair of Eddie Bauer women's like- Sherpa lined up. Sherpa lined huh? joggers. Those things are fluffy. They like are. really, <laughs> um, that, if you ever get, you will never get cold again, Vivian. I know, I was like, <laughs> these are pretty cool. So I like bought them. I bought them for 10 bucks retail arbitrage, but I was like, if these don't sell by next winter, like uh, over Christmas, we took our kids to this like outdoor it was a pretty fun, like, you know, ride. Yeah, little hay ride. Hay ride around, have hot cocoa. It, it was very cold, and I don't, like, have that much warm clothes because I don't really go out in the cold other than to the car and back. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, this would be perfect for something like that. So yeah, I'm very glad you got them, though, Viviana. I know you live <laughs> in New York, so it's probably pretty cold. Yeah, there. you probably get way colder than we do. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Viviana offered 30. I accepted. Thank you so much. <laughs> Viviana, thank you so much for that support. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna ship those in yet. It depends how we fold them, I guess. So, yeah. one of the boxes. <laughs> All right, coming over here. So these boots, I'd love to sell snow boots in April. Uh, LL Bean, just some um, kid size, sold for $39. That was my fullest price. I had paid $8.11 for these. Gonna fit somewhere. <laughs> All right, and those will just ship out probably in a regional B box. Oh no. <laughs> the the disarray bin again. Yeah, I thought <laughs> I had only grabbed labels that weren't like stuff I needed to find. Maybe you grab grab the wrong go. stack. <laughs> <laughs> this is real life, guys. <laughs> uh, the good thing is, is we keep it at a minimum, so you know we only have to search through these yeah, two bins. I mean, if... this is little. Uh, it looks like a lot, but this all got listed right. the day we did the live. So yeah, <laughs> it was like thirty items that day. Yeah. I know. Look, a lot of them have already sold. So yeah. And these? How did this video come out? Yeah, I can't remember which day I found them. The Fair Harbor shorts. I think it has come out. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm very happy with this sale. So. I'm always searching through the men's shorts, swim mm -hmm. trunks, stuff like that. Um, obviously, I grab the normal stuff like bell bond, quicksilver, stuff like that. Because yeah. this is when we went right after the first, well, that estate right. sale on Thursday, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That right. video is out. Yeah. So, yeah, I these were just, you know, as I'm scrolling, I'm like, oh, those seem mm -hmm. nice. Anything that has like a really nice liner, I've noticed. 
mm-hmm. or just these ones that have random names sometimes are like the Instagram brand. So you know, I think, I think Angela, I think it might have been Angela mentioned that that stuff is that Fair Harbor is like advertised in like with the fishing stuff. Oh. So probably like PFG stuff. Yeah. Um, so I can't think of another fishing <laughs> brand. <laughs> when I shared the sale on my Instagram, I just said, "Have you heard of this brand?" And yeah. Most people said no. I'd say like 30 people said they had heard of it, and some people even messaged saying, "Oh, our my kids or my husband loves that brand." And, yeah. Um, my friend Becky had mentioned her. They live in Hawaii. Um, their kids love them because they say like normal swim chunks like hold a lot of sand, like a normal mesh liner. Oh but yeah. These don't so. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sweet. Definitely be on the lookout though because these sold I'd say in about a day for forty dollars with discount shipping on Posh. They had three watchers on eBay hmm. actually this morning because I delisted them. Right when they sold, one of the watchers messaged like, oh, did these sell? Because they mm. were going to buy them. Mm-hmm. But, so, yeah, those will probably sell right away if you find a pair. Cool. Yeah, uh, sold on Posh. So I'm going to strip those out and tie that. It's cool when you find a new brand yeah. that you're not familiar I, I with. I'm not going to find out all the right. time, but now it's just but like, you understand, in my memory. Right, that's the thing. That's yeah. The more you do it, the more you realize And it's not just this, this is a brand, nice pair. but like, if you're looking through the same sections all the time, like... Mm-hmm every so often i'll find the vuori shorts which also sell around 40 bucks right right if you always are looking in the same stuff and like just learning new brands you're gonna keep finding more and more stuff. you'll have that what it feels like you'll just feel the quality you know you'll know to look into it so making sure it's the right size yeah because i have several of these this is a life is good frequent flyers oh that's a cool fishing tea yeah (laughs) Uh, I do have 884 into these, but this one sold 22 with discount shipping, so okay. I'm about doubling my money. Is that just a... Oh, I thought that might have been like a embroidery or something. <laughs> <laughs> nope, just a graphic tee. Just a cool I graphic tee. I life as good as tees, though. They're like super soft. Yeah. Um, makes me want to get some for myself, even though I don't really do outdoorsy <laughs> stuff much. <laughs> All right, lastly for now, anyways. Thank Yet. You. Yet. We're about to start working on the schoolie, then we'll have all kinds mm-hmm. of outdoor stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, as long as we have a full-on bathroom mm-hmm. and all that with us, yeah. right? <laughs> a I shower. Like, yeah, I don't like feeling dirty. <laughs> Washing machine. <laughs> uh, these are Kuru. I don't know if you can really see much. That's kind of their symbol. And then it's K-U-R-U. I've sold these a few times now, not this pair, just this brand. Um, but I picked these up, again, one of the days after the estate sale mm-hmm. for $7.99 at Goodwill. Uh, sold them right away, actually, like within an hour of listing for $49.95 plus shipping on eBay. So Very nice. Yeah, those are going to go in a pad of flat rate. And yeah, I'm very happy with this last week. Yeah, and we still do have more to pull. We'll yeah, uh, get this stuff. Not even half, I yeah, don't think there's so. another stack right over there. Twenty more, and then it's only like ten in the morning, so we'll probably get more throughout yeah. the day too. So, but yeah, we gotta get some of this other stuff <laughs> put away. And yeah, I think we want to do a haul for that. Yeah. Now that my voice is better and everything. Yeah. So. So lots, lots on the agenda today. <laughs> yeah. Probably not going to get it all done, but do we'll best. do what we can. Yeah. Now that the kids are in school and Reese has had his snack, <laughs> you good to go? Well, He's out. He snoozed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a little bit. We're go- we'll go ahead and just pack this up and then check in a little bit later. All right, guys. We're back from packing that stuff up. We've had lunch. Kathy typed all that in. Typed all that I in. Most of those bags from the beginning. There's two more over there that I didn't do yet. From 12 to 1, we were like, Chris is going to do some his work. I'll do mine yeah. as much as I can do and then stop. So it, it kills me because I'm like, okay, there's only two more bags. I could take <laughs> 10 more minutes and do it, but we yeah. stopped. So. I'm proud of you. That is growth. <laughs> Being able to, like, stop one thing because you had already committed to another. I mean, that's... <laughs> it don't make sense. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to pull yeah. the rest of our orders. <laughs> Just quite a few. Um, yeah, so this was in that pile, but we went ahead and got it bagged up. So it's already here for us. But these we listed also on the Thursday Night Live. Just a pair of women's Adidas track pants. I bought those retail arbitrage for 10 sold for $29.71 plus shipping. Awesome. 
Yeah. If you don't know, we do have a show Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. And we just usually hang out. Sometimes we'll list, sometimes we'll chat, ask <laughs> me, answer questions. Just, to, yeah, it's just a good thing, <laughs> good time to hang out. Yeah. All right, we do have a viewer sale bundle. So let me grab the items DG. Nike like running shorts, a pair of Sunita clogs, and a UCCS, which is like the college I went to hoodie. I actually bought this for myself and I think I wore it once, but <laughs> it's technically a man's hoodie. I keep doing this. I buy like stuff because I like it, but it just doesn't look good on me. So anyways, uh, Zach bought these three items for $82.21 plus ship, and I had $24.87 into the three, so thank you so much, Zach. Awesome, Zach, thank you so much for all the amazing support. We appreciate it. Yeah, and those um, are gonna go out in the, the O-Box, is it the O-Box? O-Box or Box 7. Oh, we gotta restock those. Yeah, yeah. so the large mailing box. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> This just says Rothy's, which I think means they might be in this pile. I did just list them. Oh, yeah, there they are. And no, I sold these. I'll just grab these out while I'm here. Okay, well. Hey, <laughs> that's more stuff to not have to put in boxes. <laughs> yep. So I'll set these down until I find their label. Uh, but yeah, the Rothy's. I got these probably before we went to Utah. I just never listed them until a couple days ago. Sold for $54 plus shipping. They're just black, yeah. uh, basic Rothy's. They weren't in the best of shape. They're pretty, I did wash them, but they're still pretty dirty um, overall. So I was happy to get what I got and comps weren't really much better than that. So like, at least for like a basic black pair. Right, and Obviously, that's probably still available. Yeah, you could still yeah. buy these on the website. For like 125 yeah. maybe and there's always like a 20 dollars coupon for new people they ship for free and stuff so i got those for 6.99 so to turn that into 54 dollars yeah. is still amazing still a really so. really good flip and if you do find those discontinued desirable colors yeah those colorways yeah um pick them up sky's the limit <laughs> oh yeah a basic black bear even just going for that much it's so crazy. yeah oh uh, I know I gotta go through my bunnies, but I feel like the Rothys <laughs> deserve like a floral or something, right? Sure. <laughs> Since I'm not shipping those priority, even though they're Rothys. All right, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> those can stay there for now. I'm going to box CD. Your your Vanna White <laughs> kicked in. You just yeah. have to show what you're what you're holding. All right, now I'm holding these Crocs <laughs> that I got in Utah. Uh, I think I had a saver maybe. I, my spread, like when I'm in Colorado Springs, I know what the tax equals out to. Yeah. So I don't know if I paid $9.49, $9.99, something around there for these. <laughs> um, but I sold them for $25.46 plus shipping. So not too bad. Um, basically doubling my money. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying not too bad. It's not great, but it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty was, good for while we were on vacation, you know? Yeah. Um, those are going to need a little bigger than a normal mailer so let's do this cute floral all right. uh shoe shelf bogs shoe shelf number two which is this shoe shelf right now i'd love to not have to have two shoe shelves yeah oh uh, yeah these bogs are the ones Kristen, a rural squirrel gave us at the bins um so my cost of goods that day was a dollar 97 Sold them on Kitizen, $30 free shipping, and the shipping's cost, costing $9.50 through Kitizen, so still making some decent little profit there. Those will go out in a brown box from our closet. Sweet. Yeah, and then these are going out to a viewer, uh, Sydney. She bought these off Kitizen. Um, during Kid Economy, they had a 
one of the prizes was like buy a mama item and so she grabbed these bionic slippers from us uh, she asked if I would do 30 I had them listed in, I don't know maybe 39 or something um, and I said yes because like technically I bought these for myself and I did wear them a few times mm -hmm. then I washed them and then I listed them so I was happy to sell for 30 so thank you so much Sydney um, yeah and the shipping is 950 again through kid is in they're a little too large to go padded flat rate so awesome Sydney thank you so much for that support yeah. we appreciate it okay BS and our final last straw of these one more after this one I think so the cabana lifes where I started with probably 30 maybe more of these um this one sold on kit is in $39.95 free shipping I have ten dollars into it and shipping was six fifteen. so all right making some profit there okay in case you didn't see she putting that in a bunny mailer, bunny mailer. <laughs> I think I was too high to see that <laughs> See our crew cuts. Oh, this is a viewer sale as well. Where it's, am I? It's right there. <laughs> CR. CR. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is going out to Morgan for her son. A pair of crew cuts, kids, red jogger pants. I sold to her for $18 plus shipping um, on Kitizen. I bought these for my son and I don't remember what I paid for them, but probably breaking even or Maybe losing a buck or two off those, but thank you so much, Morgan. Um, yeah. I bought those for, like, so he could wear for Christmas. You know, his red pants would match all the <laughs> outfits, and then I don't know why we never wore them, but <laughs> hopefully your son can. Awesome. Morgan, thank you so much for that support. Yeah. It's going out in a bunny mailer. She said she loves watching us while she does her day job, crunching numbers and stuff. So. All right. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs> Thanks right. for watching. <laughs> Two sales in a row pulling out the closet. <laughs> oh, uh oh. <laughs> this is that American girl thing, but <laughs> it's a hanger that rock clearly it. isn't meant to be hung on a <laughs> <laughs> You gotta rock it the, the other way. Closet rack. Alright. Boop. 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 Alright, let's sit this for a minute. Yeah, the American Girl thing, it didn't do as well as I had hoped, um, but it sold, so. Yeah. We got that at the bins, so my average cost of goods that day was $1.84. I sold it for $7.61 plus shipping. It, it's pretty lightweight, but I wasn't, like, considering that this isn't, like, great quality, so I want to put it in a box. Mm -hmm. So I can't just put it in a poly. Like, if I could have put it in a poly, it'd be first class, but I don't want this to break. So right, right. There's Since no it's coverage. attached and everything. I mean, I guess know. I could put coverage, but I don't want someone's item breaking. Right, right. So, anyways, they had to pay $10.99 for shipping, and actually it even ended up costing me $11.28 because they lived in Connecticut. So mm. I charged $10.99. I ate the other $0.30 cents or whatever. Um, no big deal, but for that reason, I'm profiting like 3 bucks on that. So definitely not <laughs> my best... You know, but hey, it's a Ben's, Ben's item. Flip, you doubled yeah. your money, right? I tripled. <laughs> tripled <my> your money. <laughs> yeah. So dollar eighty four into seven sixty one. Is that gonna go like in a shoe box uh, or something? Yeah, or does it priority box? Thinking, yeah, it can be a priority. So. So we can use a flat mailer or right. uh, one of those thinner mailers. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, and this was the sale of the weekend and. The month Maybe so far. This year so far. <laughs> the year? Oh. Uh, when did we sell the snowboard? Before this year? Or, uh, I'm pretty sure that was this year. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't remember actually. I've only sold a handful of items ever over like 200 bucks. So, yeah. yeah. This is one of them. Uh, let me put. Where am I? Did I, I already put the label down? Or no, I, I don't think you oh, picked I put the label the out yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the brand. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> you guys know it. <laughs> well, if you don't know it, that's what it is. I'm not even gonna try to Fjall Raven. Fjall Raven. Yeah, and that, that's their little logo, like Fox. If you ever see that without yeah. a tag or anything. They have like a, those little square backpack things, right? Yeah. The like can, 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 can backpacks. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. Fjall Raven. I'm Anyways, sure. it's a great brand to look out for. I got this retail arbitrage for. $49, um, and I sold it for $245 plus shipping. So Very nice. Really, really good sale. It took about 45 days to sell, so not too bad for that high of a price. And it was a women's extra, extra small, so I already thought it was going to be a long kind yeah. of 
holding item, but I knew it would sell eventually. It actually sold to someone in Canada, so this Going nice global jacket's ship. headed yeah. to Canada. I think they ended up paying 300 something all, all, all in. in, yeah, 320 Which or something. Honestly, yeah. I think that is about retail on this. Mm -hmm. I think the retail's in the 300. So they still, it's new, it's tag, you know, they're still getting a good deal, even though they probably had to pay a ton in shipping to get it to Canada. Right. So I'm very happy with that. Hope they love it. Yeah. And I feel good because it's global shipping. So there should be no issues. Right. Um, or eBay should take care of it. I've never had an issue, but yeah. So Bolo. Fjall Raven. <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> All right. CT. Billabong short. Where you at, CT? CT's right here. You guys, I don't know the alphabet anymore. I think you were just so busy because she typed all these into the spreadsheet. She's Her brain's a little fried, probably. My brain is always fried. Like, I always <laughs> have so much going on up there. I just, just never know what I'm doing. Yeah. All right. These Billabong shorts sold on Poshmark for $28 with discount shipping. I had $5.94 into them, so not too bad. Ship those out in the Oh, and did you know what you're gonna ship? Oh, um, the all I mean, Raven jacket in. I just printed like a, a three pound label, so it like a buck, a seven. It's probably gonna be this, but unless it's too much weight, then I'll just yeah fold it a little tighter and probably do a shoe box. Gotcha. All right, AR. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to go all the way around. <laughs> This is a Prana bikini bottom, uh, sold for $27 with discount shipping. I had $5.83 into that. Bad. That's sold on Poshmark. Yeah, so I'm gonna put that in a foldy box. Actually, oh, that was in our copy. yeah, that was in with our receipts. Oh, okay. well, it looks like it'll fit, but so we'll just use that. Okay. <laughs> All right, box B. Got another viewer sale. Don't step on Reese. All right. These are going out to Odalis. Um, some cool Han like slide sandals. These look perfect for like to wear on a vacation. Mm. I'm just imagining just sitting out on a, like a <laughs> beach right now. Uh, $26 with discount shipping on Posh, and I had $7.59 into those. So thank you so much, awesome. Odalis. Odalis, thank you so much for that support. Hopefully you're taking them to a beach or something, yeah. <laughs> living vicariously. I think she lives in Texas, so she might already live by a beach. I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. I don't know Texas good enough to know where the beach is. I think there's a gulf next to okay. it somewhere. All right. I think those are going to medium flat rate. Right? Cool. All right. Thank you, Odalis. Yeah. All right. BM Cabana Line. Over here. Right, to my swim dress now. I also have ten dollars into this. This is my second. So you saw there's one more in the box. I think I had three total. One sold on eBay for like fifty something. This one I accepted a thirty dollar offer. I'm still making profit. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with that. So ten <laughs> into thirty. Posh takes a six dollar fee, but more than doubling my money. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. Um, that was Posh. Probably just do a tie back there. Yeah, when it comes to retail arbitrage, we know, Doubling you know, great. sometimes it, it really works out great like yeah. that one, but. And like that, I didn't only find that that day, you know, I right. found a whole cart full of stuff and that, so. Yeah. The cart full of stuff was probably like those Hurley shirts that sell for yeah. five to ten dollars profit, and then you get a big one like that. Now, so. if only you could find a big cart full of these, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> Not I'm just lucky one. when I find one here and there. <laughs> All right, some spare shoes. These are a pair of men's Sperry's. I have six fifty and two sold for twenty seven with discount shipping on Posh. Posh was great for me this weekend. I did send out thirty percent, I think, offers on Sunday on almost everything. So mm -hmm. everything that had a liker. So yeah, that definitely helped my cause. All right. Um, shoe shelf Sorel boots. Love selling. I know I said that earlier in the video. <laughs> Love selling snow boots in April. Yeah. Uh, again, I took, well, no, this was a pretty decent offer, I guess. 
I did pay $10.97 for the boots. Um, Sorrel's just, it always sells. So even at a $10 profit or so, I would definitely still pick them up. Sold them for $28. That was an offer someone sent me after they got my 30% offer, which I obviously priced them way high to begin with. Mm -hmm. So I think I priced them at 50. They got 30% off, so 35 with discount shipping, and they countered at 28. So honestly, normally I sell them about 35 to 40 dollars, including shipping. So that's about what the spire's all in, anyways. So I think that was a good deal for both of us. Yeah. All right, we'll ship those in a medium flat rate, I think. DJ Sketchers. Oh, that's in the closet? Uh, no. Uh, oh, bottom. It's by the behind the vacuum. Yeah. All right. These I have five ninety nine and two sold for twenty seven dollars. I'm trying to remember where I sold these. Uh, Poshmark. I didn't write DS, which I write. For discount shipping but i feel like it must have been discount shipping I assume discount shipping but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. not a bad sale either way so yeah and when kathy does say discount shipping that's usually yeah. because of posture va so yes, this it, weekend probably because of my 30 percent offers yeah um, yeah do a medium flat right there all right, this is a viewer sale going out to Christina who bought six things. So I'm trying to think about where I'm going to put these six things. <laughs> Why don't you turn your chair around and set them in your chair? Yeah. All right, eight. Oh, oh, any over here? No, they're all over here. So starting box X. All right, we got a wildflowers dress. Uh, box R. A uh, Hatley swimming suit. Uh, box D. Uh, this is the brand Blackjack. I've never heard of it. I just like jackets for my kids this year, so <laughs> I thought that was cute. Uh, box K. Top right. Top right. Another like jacket. This is, I don't know how you say this either. I think it's like a Swedish brand. I think it's Polarn O Pirate or something like that. <laughs> Definitely not like that, but something like that. I think that's exactly how it's pronounced. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, we're back in bucks. Our old navy shorts. Uh, just a pair of camo old navy like sweat shorts. And a O. Breezy. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Another jacket. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much, Christina. So she bundled these all in Kitizen and just purchased them for $113.20 free ship. The shipping is going to be $9.50. And I had about 58, 48 into all the items. Some of them were my personal items, well, our kids' stuff. Mm -hmm. And then a couple, like retail arbitrage and the baby girl stuff, obviously, I thrifted. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, Christine. I hope you're, I know she buys for her nieces, mm -hmm. or at least niece and nephew. I don't know how many. I think they're just <laughs> one of each, but hopefully they love them. Well, yeah, what? So, like, niece and nephew, is there a, a collective term? Uh -huh. Right. I don't think so, huh? Really yeah, I don't know. I can't think of one. Christina, thank you so much for the support. Sorry, I got yeah. some ADD distraction going there. Now I'm all distracted trying to figure it out. Because, you know, you got your grandkids, you know, yeah, your grandparents. Your, your actual kids. Your siblings. Your cousins, but not really. Yeah, nothing for niece and nephew, huh? Yeah. If there is, let us know, because mm -hmm. I would love to know that. Maybe, like, if you're also their godparent, then you could be, like, your godkids, but... God nieces and nephews. <laughs> nieces and nephews is a very long yeah. thing to say. <laughs> so we need to invent a word if there isn't one. We definitely should. <laughs> but first, let's just send the person who bought these shoes to them. Uh, they're a pair of Merrill like black slip-on shoes. I paid $6.99, sold for $27 with discount shipping on pop. 
So those should go on a medium flat rate. For 31 with discount ship on Posh, I had 3.93 into those. Okay, that should go. I think in a regional A flat, nicely. Okay, B K again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Obviously, if we weren't doing this for YouTube, right. we would know that there were two things in box BK and then just pull them both out. But mm -hmm. since we're doing it for YouTube, I just kind of print the labels and then just... Just pull it out in some random yeah. order. Yep. <laughs> so I don't even honestly pay attention to there might be two in the same box. So. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a pair of A6 men's like track pants, I guess. So I sent in a 30% offer on this. The buyer accepted 28 discount shipping. I had thought I bought these at for 10 but my spreadsheet said I bought them for 12, so a mm. little bit less profit. I think I'm making like 650 or so profit, which is still, again, not bad for retail arbitrage. That's to put in 12 and get back six plus your initial 12. Yeah. It's not horrible. It's um, not, no. I'd like to do it more if I had several of them, but mm -hmm. yeah. I can think of a lot of harder ways to <laughs> earn money that people do every single day. True. Um, and as I was sending offers on Posh, I did think about it. I was like, do I want to like hand pick each one or just put them all and then see what happens? Mm -hmm. Might break even on one or two, but yeah, it worked out. The I time saving, so the right. least amount of profit I made on any of the items I yeah. sold. So, and that's to me is still good. So. Mm -hmm. All right, I sold this. The brand is the Children's Hour. It's like a vintage, I don't know, navy kind of dress, like. Like navy uniform? Yeah, but it's a kid's dress, so like, I don't know. I imagine if your maybe parent was in the navy and mm -hmm. you would go see them wearing this, I don't know. It's a cute dress. <laughs> it came in the box that Hope uh, Racks oh, to Riches. Racks to Riches, riches. Yes. resale, yeah. <laughs> Sent me, um, and if you are new here, it was like a little mystery box um, of kids' clothes. I've already made prof, like, the first couple items that sold covered the whole box, and yeah. now it's just all profit, anything that sells. So this one sold for $16.96 plus shipping. So I'll profit after the eBay takes their cut. Awesome. You're in the floor. loudest part of the floor. <laughs> that is the squeak, <laughs> so like, annoying. epicenter of upstairs. <laughs> I don't know, I'll need that again. Okay, last sale, another viewer sale. You guys are so nice to me. <laughs> AT. What if they're just being nice to me? No. Oh, they <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is going out to Emma. She said she, I believe, oh my gosh, I got so many messages. I believe she just said she loves to watch our channel <laughs> um, and she was excited to finally buy something from us. So, Emma, thank you so much. This is, it's unbranded. I got it at the bins, but it's like a Rolling Stones graphic. Okay, yeah. I thought it was cool. Um, it was in really good shape, and it was like a nice stretchy material. And you know how I like <laughs> stretchiness. So, anyways, the day that I typed this bins haul in, I did it by weight for some reason. So I do only have fifty-one cent cost of goods into this, and Emma bought it for twelve dollars with discount shipping. So, accepted awesome. one of my thirty percent offers. So thank you so much, Emma. Emma, thank you so much for that support, and yeah. thanks to all of our viewers for all the support. Probably put that in a tie bag. Everybody. Um, Sweet. Yep. Now we got to figure out how to pack. We had trouble last time because we didn't have any word of tape boxes and stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so. so we're going to figure this out, get everything packed up. <laughs> we'll check back in in a little bit, but we have, we have to be at the, we have to pick up the kids in about 30 minutes. So okay. we got, we got plenty of time to knock this out. So we'll be back. Yeah. All right. Guys got it all packed up. Just a, just a couple things going out. Just a few. <laughs> feels good to have a, this is what I want every weekend. Yeah. At least, so feels good. Yeah. But 
I know it. It's nice that we... I know it won't be every week. <laughs> it's nice that we have yeah. this much space available in our inventory now. <laughs> That's true, yeah. That's, All uh, that for sure should fit in so, yeah. these spots. <laughs> Maybe this can fit. <laughs> I had hoped to get some new listings started today, at least photograph, but... Yeah. We ran out of time, so we'll start back up tomorrow. Luckily, I think I have some drafts already ready, and I can work from those tonight. I'll probably watch live listing on Monday. And yeah. Do some listings. So. Live listing over on Joey Bada Bing 22's YouTube channel with the Profit Monsters yeah. and <laughs> Joey Bada Bing 22. Assuming, I don't know, they, sometimes they don't have it, but I'm assuming they That's do. That's true. <laughs> so if you watch <laughs> this and they don't have it, then they didn't have it. Yeah. I don't know. I just, just, they say they're always going to have it, but, yeah. you know, things happen. Sometimes life so, happens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> happens to all of us. <laughs> But that's going to do it for today, guys. We do have to get this stuff off to the post office and UPS, and I think that's it. But, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the amazing support from our viewers this weekend, guys. We appreciate it very much. But that is going to do it for today, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.